welcome to the Richard Flores Football Stadium. I am Ms. Minga Vela, your school board president. This is going to be an exciting and great, wonderful 22-23 school year. I'd like to thank our students, our staff, our parents and Edinburgh community for your support and dedication. Where here at ECISD, we are simply the best. We ask for blessings and safety for everyone every time we play on and off the field. Go Bobcats, go Cougars, go Jaguars, and go Sabercats. Good luck to everyone. Hello and welcome back to Edinburgh CISD's 2022 football season. I am Superintendent Mario Salinas and we are excited to see our athletes, our band programs, dance and cheer programs, fans, parents back here at Richard R. Florida Stadium. We are looking forward to a great season and wish all great success. We firmly believe that our co-curricular, extracurricular programs help students become team-oriented problem solvers who are confident and are able to think creatively. Our goal is to provide an opportunity for the young people to engage in these kinds of programs in ways that draw upon their individual talents. With your, with your help and support, we can reach this goal. We want to wish all an incredible and successful season, and we remind everyone to stay safe and have fun. Hello, Sabercat community, and welcome to Richard Flores Stadium. It's a new year, a new day, a new football season, and the Sabercats are alive and thriving. In the house, we have RVHS students, athletes, JROTC, cheerleaders and sapphires, parents, ECISD administration, RVHS teachers, and unbeatable school spirit. We're moving forward with pride, promise, and great expectations. Robert Vela High School is celebrating 10 years of excellence, and our students are poised with talent both on and off the field and in and out of the classroom. Robert Vela High School promises to make the 2022-2023 school year the best year yet. Go Sabercats! Hello and welcome to the Superintendent's Perspective. I'm Lisa Ayala with Edinburgh CISD Public Relations, and I'm joined by Dr. Mario Salinas, Superintendent of Schools, and our Early Education Director, Victoria Martinez. So today we have a very special program. We're going to be talking about our Early Education Program and where we're at. So Dr. Salinas, tell us a little bit about that. Yes, the, this is year, year two that mm -hmm. we have a uh, director to, to uh, streamline the Early Childhood Program. We mm -hmm. feel strongly that if we have a high quality early childhood program, that is going to help not only the schools, it, it, it'll help the children later to be able to do rigorous work. We think that these kids that are involved, they get enrolled as three-year-olds and then up to four-year-olds. We, we believe strongly that they'll be fluent readers by the time they get to third grade. And then they'll be able to do rigorous work at the high school. That's what we want. Of course. And eventually we want these, these students to graduate from college. Mm -hmm. we, we know that one of the weapons to fight uh, 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 poverty, poverty. Yes. is a good, yes. solid education. And we start with the early childhood program. Mm -hmm. Now, Victoria Martinez, this is year two as a director yes, sir. for the program. We've, the Edinburgh CISD have never had an early childhood mm -hmm. program director. Uh, tell us a little bit of what's going on with the early childhood program. Well, sir, we're real excited. Mm -hmm. we, we got off to a great start this year. Um, we have provided a lot of social emotional uh, mm -hmm. staff development for our teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, we had our own um, Josue, um, our LPCs, and Denise uh, Cavazos, uh, Cavazos, mm -hmm. uh, Denise Cavazos train our teachers at the beginning of the year. They got AIMS criterion uh, training with our Frog Street because we're doing the assessments. Pre-K-4 program, I love. I've been trying to incorporate what I've already learned from the past curriculums and all of our trainings and embedded into our Frog Street new curriculum that we have this year. It entails a lot of phonological awareness, it entails phonics, mathematics, social studies, and science, and of course, writing. Every child loves to play, and so bringing in something that's interactive 
especially into our center times, like for instance, our name, our letters of our name. And we have games to go with the letters of their name. And to them, they're playing. It's interactive, but they're playing. But the key to it is that they're learning. Uh, we had, uh, just yesterday, as a matter of fact, we had Dr. Adams mm -hmm. uh, come down. She's a behavior strategist. She mm -hmm. came down mm -hmm. from San Antonio, and uh, she provided training for all our pre-K-3, all our pre-K-3, pre-K-4, multi-age. All the teachers? All the teachers, oh, wow. sir. All the teachers attended. Where, where was uh, this? Workshop? This was at Region 1. Oh, I know she would have been there. Yes, yes. It, was a, it was a great training. We'd love to talk um, to teachers. Back mm -hmm. to teaching mm -hmm. them about the ABCs, mm -hmm. the effective behaviors, uh, the um, being in, yeah, being positive and proactive on how to how to navigate and how to build self-esteem for the children. So it was an excellent, excellent training, and the teachers really, really enjoyed it. So we're we're providing all the foundation, all the res for the social emotional, the curriculum, uh, the assessments. Mm -hmm. We uh, did the beginning of the year assessments. Mm -hmm. And we know where every single child is mm -hmm. at. Mm -hmm. We're going to start addressing their needs, mm -hmm. individual needs, mm -hmm. uh, both social emotionally wise, mm -hmm. academically wise. Yeah. And academically wise, I just want to tell you that mm -hmm. year one made such a mm -hmm. huge impact. Our pre-K three coming into pre-K four, mm -hmm. amazing, amazing. They are getting mm -hmm. ready to start reading. Yeah. yeah. So, Victoria, it's not a secret that we want the early childhood program in Edinburgh to be the best, the most high quality, the best program in the whole state of Texas. Yes, sir. And, that and it is. falls on your shoulders. Yes, sir. <laughs> and and it will be. No pressure at all. It falls on your shoulders. That's right. Pressure <laughs> no pressure. It we, will we be. We ain't going to have those. That's and right. what I see out there, what I see out there, you and I have been over there, you've been to those classrooms. Yes. I've seen nothing but good things happening yes. in those classrooms. And, and, and I suspect that the reason for that is that we have hired good, high-quality teachers. Our teachers, our teachers mm -hmm. are very highly qualified, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. Very highly qualified. We've mm -hmm. done a comprehensive analysis of the amount of professional development hours every teacher has, and they are very, very well trained. Uh, we can tell you that a lot of our teachers um, have their masters in early childhood. Mm -hmm. They have either their bachelors, their masters, or their minors is specific to early childhood. So they have the skill set. Mm -hmm. They have a very specific skill set to develop these children. And when you go to the classrooms, you just you just see it coming out. You know, they know what to do. We are learning our ABCs. And we are learning the letter H. My favorite letter is A. I'm having lots of fun in class. And now we opened it up to all yeah. families, regardless yeah. of the economic status of the child, regardless of the the fluency mm -hmm. in Spanish or English, every child qualified. That being said, oh, and at every school. Every at school. Every school, 31 and schools. All day and long. Free. And, free. and free. And all day long. And all day long. <laughs> and all day long. And after school enrichment program. And after school. <laughs> and, and, after no, school. and no <laughs> napping. It's a full no, day. That is and correct. A full day of instruction. Mm -hmm. Uh, so everybody qualifies, and yes. we aim to take this program to the highest level. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, I, it already is uh, already get, gaining a reputation as a high-quality early childhood program. I'm talking pre-K, three, four, yeah. uh, first, uh, second, uh, uh, kinder, first and second. Yes. And a lot of it has to do with you, Victoria, with your, with your leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, I can see it. I can see how our programs are crystallizing into mm -hmm. top-notch early childhood programs, and and that can only be a boon to the principals yes. at, at, at each of the campuses because those children eventually have to take the start. That's test, right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, and they're going to be that much better prepared to do the, the STAR uh, exams. Yes, sir. Yes. The foundation is there, and mm -hmm. so is the vertical alignment. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know that mm -hmm. this last professional development uh, we had, what was it, October 7th? I, I had the privilege of being at Betts Elementary mm -hmm. yeah. and the yeah. vertical alignment. We had our very own Yoli Carrillo teaching, uh, training the, her colleagues at the campus, uh, the basic vocabulary development, um, everything aligned to our TELPAS assessment mm -hmm. um, and, and how to use visuals and manipulatives mm -hmm. and the engagement. Mm -hmm. um, and she And our third, fourth, and fifth grade teachers mm -hmm. were like, yeah, wow, th this is the alignment. Mm -hmm. You can really see 
the difference between a pre-K-3 child coming in ready. We've always received children from daycares, uh, from Head Start, but the pre-K-3s in ECISD that I've seen this year, wow, is amazing. So I would love to have had that advantage for my children, and now it's here. And so these kids are coming into pre-K-4, and they're already blending yes. because they know their sounds. And we it's amazing. Yeah, it's and, weird. And, 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 and I, I, I have to say this. Mm -hmm. You know, you're talking three-year-olds that have not been exposed to any kind of regiment or discipline at home. You talk three-year-olds that may not know how to, that don't talk. Mm -hmm. We have three-year-olds that don't know how to read. We have three-year-olds that uh, it's the first time they go into some kind of formal environment and there's behavior issues. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make it sound like it's, it's peaches and cream. Right. It is not. <laughs> no. They, no, it, they, it the is. The teachers have their hands full along with their age. Yes. yes. And I do want to say that the, many of our eights are degree. Yes. You yes. Know? So, and, and I know you can talk a little bit about that. You talk, in fact, you started with social-emotional mm -hmm. uh, yes. aspect of, of what, what we're trying to do with our teachers. Because I don't want to make it sound like it's all peaches and cream. We're right. talking with children who have never been formally introduced right. to a regiment, regimented environment. They mm -hmm. haven't been to daycare. They haven't been to Head Start. They've been at home. Yes, right. so and now they have a routine. Our teachers have their hands full. Yes. I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to, to make, make it sound, sound like, like it's... Yeah. <laughs> like right. <laughs> right. No, right. it's not. No. And right. Dr. Summit, I, I, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the first couple of weeks mm -hmm. yesterday, it's funny that you mentioned mm -hmm. that because... Uh, yesterday at the training, mm -hmm. um, the pre-K three, pre-K four teachers, mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, they were able to share with me. Yes, the first couple of weeks were a little rough because uh -huh. they're coming home without sure. that structure. Right. You know, they're coming from home without the structure. Mm -hmm. uh, but they were, for the most part, all of them mm -hmm. were like, "Oh, yes, it's just part of the process." Mm -hmm. But by right. now, they're doing great mm -hmm. because our teachers are so skill mm -hmm. that they develop those routines those procedures mm -hmm. those expectations in the classroom yes. and we had a, a tell, front tell row what seat. you saw last week we had a front row seat to all mm -hmm. of that the, the little four-year-olds mm -hmm. that were there they got up and they even did little affirmations i'm going to have a good day oh. and they closed their eyes it was so mm -hmm. good yes. but that's part mm -hmm. of that social emotional growth you know that yes. that kind of you know, I'm going to have a wonderful day. I love learning. And they, they were just adorable. I mean, mm -hmm. they, they got up. They were using their pointer to do uh, patterns, to count. Mm -hmm. They got up to do little vocabulary sentences. So they were already forming sentences. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're talking about, when you talk about blending, that's the sounds, the yes. blending of the sounds. They were doing full little sentences on their vocabulary board, I guess is what you called yes. it. Yes, yes. And they were even doing sign language as part of, I guess, their enrichment. Yes. So we were particularly mm -hmm. struck in, you know, by just how how well-rounded, how much they were, they were doing. They loved sign language. They loved the sign language. I incorporated that into my daily subjects and giving them the opportunity to use their hands, like for the letter A, B, C, D, and it's just, now it's interactive. I want to do my best. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's fun learning the ABC. Math. I play with blocks. I really love this class because I learn a lot. The parents mm -hmm. of, of those children in that classroom, in that particular, they're just lucky they got yes. such a highly qualified Quality. teacher. Yes. And, and the way she handled and managed that classroom, the communication that she had with her children, uh, it's like magical. Yes. I don't know how else to describe yes. that. Yes. You know. It kind of makes you want to have another child to put in that classroom, right? Okay, okay. I'll think about it. <laughs> now I wish I had my children. Oh, right, right. Right. <laughs> but but she, but she <laughs> was grandchildren. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But they said that she was a trainer of trainers, you know, yes, in, in many cool. ways. She I is. mean, well, we had a four-year-old get up and sing the entire alphabet song, mm -hmm. just yeah. from beginning to end. And I, that she's a four-year-old at week seven. Mm -hmm. What are we, week nine? A B C. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And I know. Next time, won't 
to sing with me. There's no question about it that we're going to take our program yes. to the very highest levels of quality yes. uh, by giving the teachers what they need. Yes. You know, by yes. le you leading the teachers. This is uh, the bar that we set for our early childhood program teachers. Yes. And we're going to give you all the resources that you need, be yes, it staff thank development. You. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Being staff development, they, if, if they need to go do high quality staff development out of the valley, uh, we're ready. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, whatever it takes uh, for you uh, to get these teachers to perform at the highest levels. Because thank we're only going to teachers. That. That's right. And we're going to take this program to the promised land uh, right. on the back yes. of good teaching. That's right. Thank you. Yes, we definitely will. An incredible mm -hmm. curriculum, so that's great. Well, we're going to continue this talk and continue. We're not done. No, oh, no. no, we want to go to other, other campuses, mm -hmm. other schools, see other classrooms and, and other kids, so we're really excited about this. So thank you so much for joining us, thank and of you. course, thank all of you for joining us this week on the Superintendent's Perspective, and as always, we hope you stay healthy and stay safe. Mr. Ramirez, are you test positive? Deputies taken into custody. Now you're going to jail. About five years ago, myself, uh, Judge Renee Benton Court, and Judge Luis Singletary started what I call Court in School program, where we actually moved the courtroom, the courthouse, into a local high school. That way the kids can see something realistically of what happens in life. Well, once we start court, this becomes the 398th district court. So anybody here in the audience can be held in contempt if, you know, if they're not obeying the rules of the court. And what we have here on the right-hand side where the defendants will be here, there will be actual defendants from the jail coming in. For caution, everyone has been taken. So instead of my regular docket of 60 plus, they come in, we're only bringing in six individuals and that's it. These kids right now, you know, going through COVID, coming out, we have to reach them, you know. A lot of them are having issues and problems. How to be kind to one another. That's the most important thing that I want them to come understand it. How to be compassionate. What can we do to help? Instead of being part of the problem, be part of the solution. I found it, me as an adult, uh, very interesting. And I'm sure the students found it very interesting as well. It's part of the educational process. That's the way I see it. When they ask me, when the judge asked me, would you like to have it in our schools? I said, of course. I found that it was really educational and it was a great opportunity for those of us who want to go into practicing law. For myself personally, I want to be a criminal defense attorney, so it was really amazing seeing that firsthand and being able to ask questions and talk to the attorneys themselves and have them give feedback and advice. And it was a great opportunity for us and I'm really thankful. It was insane.
before we start the alma maters, I'd like to give a welcome to the Brewster Longhorn football team. Guest tonight of the Edinburgh North, they were the district champions, Coach Rico Guerra and Larry Sosa. Let's give them a round of applause. And also, before we start the game, we have in attendance some of the Edinburgh High School Bobcat football coaches that coach with Richard Flores there on the track. Let's go ahead and give them a round of applause. I believe it's Coach Vasquez, Coach Guerra. There you go, those are former coaches that worked with Coach Richard Flores for many years. They're here to see the Bobcats and the Cougars, and we will be having a halftime special presentation for Coach Richard Flores. Richard Avila, I believe, is also in there. Richard Avila, Romeo Cuellar, Henry Castillo, I believe, is out, out there. So hopefully I didn't miss anybody. Also, before we start the alma mater, we are glad to be hosting the Edinburgh High School and Edinburgh North class of 1993. They will be sitting together, a special, especially on the north side. So welcome home, Bobcats and Cougars. Also, Joe Filoteo, another member of the coaching staff. Coach Filoteo, welcome home. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of the Edinburgh High School alma mater. Remain standing for the presentation of the Edinburgh North High School alma mater. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to midfield for the presentation of colors by the Edinburgh North High School JROTC. At the south end of the field is the Edinburgh North JROTC flag detail team that will be raising the flag for the national anthem.
Ladies and gentlemen, kindly remove all headgear, put your right hand over your heart as we honor America with the presentation of the National Anthem. Tonight, the National Anthem will be sung by Guadalupe Lopez, a member of the Edinburgh North Madrigal Singers under the direction of Linda Hernandez and Claudio Esquivel. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Oh, the land of the free and the home of the Also in attendance at tonight's game is the Edinburgh High School class of 1981. Welcome home, Bobcats. Head coach Damian Gonzalez and the Edinburgh North Mighty Cougars. Head coach Rene Guzman and the Mighty Bobcats of Edinburgh High School.
kick goes into the end zone. Automatic touchback, first and 10 from the 25 for the Cougars. Carry by number 10, Ulysses Melendez. Defensively, number 31, Edward Zuniga. Short gain of two yards, second and eight from the 27. Ulysses Melendez up the middle. Once again on the tackle, Edward Zuniga. Injury timeout. The injured player for the Cougars, number 60, Maximiliano Cepeda, being assisted by the athletic training staff from Edinburgh North, Jessica Salceda and Ruben Cantu. Swing pass is complete to Tyler Reese. With that completion, it'll be a first down. This is Melendez carrying the ball to the right side, coming in on that tackle, Jordan Ayala and Edward Zuniga.
The pass is intercepted by number 21, Nicholas Gonzalez. Well set another ball carrier. Andrew Renner on the tackle. Bobcat offense being directed by number three quarterback JT Santa Maria. Santa Maria on the quarterback keeper. He's brought down at midfield by number two, Federico Capadona. During the play, encroachment, defense, number 43, five yards previous spot, replay second. Well, Serena up bouncing to the right side. He's pushed out of bounds by Keyshawn Garcia. Ball being set close to the 40. First down, Bobcats. <laughs> JT Santa Maria, the quarterback keeper. He's brought down by number 35, Yasmani Rodriguez. Three yards on the run by Santa Maria, sets up a second and seven from the 38. Noel Serna gaining some tough yardage up the middle. Defensively, number 35, Yasmani Rodriguez, and number 93, Jesus Hernandez. Serna brought down at the 25-yard line. First and 10 for the Bobcats. Defensively, Kishan Garcia. Noel Serna, the ball carrier, tripped up by number 21, Eduardo Gonzalez. Loss of two yards sets up a second and 12 from the 26. Incomplete pass.
Ball carrier number 12, Ryan Abedigal. He's brought down by Yasmani Rodriguez. Timeout. Enberg High. First time out of the half. Juan Davila's 40-yard field goal is up and good at the hole of Jude Vega. Deep snapper, Jordan Ayala. Five minutes to play in the first quarter. The Bobcats, three. The Cougars, zero. There's a world-class facility in South Texas offering... Off returners, Jose Ramirez, Ishan Garcia. Kicking off for the Bobcats, number 99, Juan Davila. Davila's kickoff goes into the end zone. Automatic touchback. First and 10 at the 25. Ulysses Melendez on the long run. That's a Bird Ogden Daligas run for Melendez and the Cougars. Cougars are now in Bobcat territory at the 32 yard line. Oscar Campos 
Brought down at the 30-yard line by Jordan Ayala. Timeout. Edinburgh North. First time out of the half. Ulysses Melendez brought down by Jonathan Maldonado. Reminder at the north concession stand on the northwest side, they are selling super nachos. Please go and get them before they run out. Super nachos are nachos with brisket. Encroachment, defense, number 99. Five yards previous spot, results in a first down. Melendez, the ball carrier, there is a flag on the play. During the play, holding, offense, number 70, 10 yards previous spot, remains first down. Carry by Ulysses Melendez. He's brought down by number 31, Edward Zuniga. Second and 16 from the 27.
Jonathan Maldonado on the tackle of Ulysses Melendez. Loss of a couple of yards will set up a third and 16. 153 and counting left to play in the first quarter. Campos brought down by Jordan Ayala. Pass is complete to Tyler Reese. Ball being spotted at the 10 yard line. With that completion, it should be a Cougar first down. Touchdown Cougars, Ulysses Melendez. <laughs> Melendez entered today's game with over 700 yards rushing for the Cougars. One of the leading rushers in District 31 6 8. Extra point is good at the hole of Jason Rosales, deep snapper, Sam Cerda. 25 seconds left to play in the first quarter. The Cougars seven, the Bobcats three. Supposed to like defense. And Ver North, number seven. That's his first unsportsman like of the half. Penalty being enforced on the kickoff.
Back deep for the Bobcats. Raul Ramirez, Noel Serna, and number four, Rivers Martinez. Kicking off, Ramiro Vargas. Turning the kickoff, Ethan Calderon. Calderon brought down by number... Twenty-nine, Adolfo Rodriguez. JT Santa Maria up the middle on that carry. He's brought down by number 91, Fabian Gonzalez. At the end of the first quarter here at Richard R. Flores Stadium. Second and two for the 42. JT Santa Maria going off tackle. He's brought down at about the 47 yard line. There is a flag on the play. During the play, holding. Offense, number 65. 10 yards to the spot of the foul. Replay second down. Fumble, number 33, Sam Cerda. Touchdown, Cougars. Number 91, Fabian Gonzalez. Gonzalez picks up the fumble, goes in for six points for Edinburgh North High School. Vargas, extra point, splits the upright at the hole of Jason Rosales. Deep snapper, number 45, Elisier Cardenas. 11-22 left to play in the second quarter. 
The Mighty Cougars, 14. The Fighty Bobcats, 3. Welcome home, Bobcats. Vargas kicking off for the Cougars. Automatic touchback, first and 10 at the 25 for the Bobcats. Well, Serna on the jet sweep. On the tackle, number 24, Salvador Suarez. Ball being set at the 35 yard line, first and 10. Raul Ramirez on the jet sweep, coming in on that tackle, Elisier Cárdenas. Short gain of two yards, second and eight. JT Santa Maria running up the middle. He's tripped up by number 43, Aiden Torres. Third and two from the 43. Noel Serna carrying the ball to the right side. In on the tackle, number 33, Sam Cerda. Noel Serna running from the I formation. He's tripped up. Ball being set at the 45 yard line. First and 10 Bobcats.
Santa Maria up the middle. Close to midfield, coming in on the tackle. Eddie Gonzalez and Sam Cerda. Five yards on the carry, second and five from midfield. 8-13 left to play in the second quarter. Handoff goes to Noel Serna. Yasmani Rodriguez, along with number 28, Andrew Renner, defensively for the Cougars. Third and two from the 47. Number 30, Jacob Gonzalez, the ball carrier, is brought down inside the 45-yard line, first and 10, fighting Bobcats. Well, Serna tripped up inside the 40-yard line. There's a fumble on the play. Officials are indicating recovered by the Bobcats. I believe he was ruled down. the ball carrier coming in on that tackle number 78 Rolando Torres third and four for the Bobcats Raul Ramirez on the jet sweep. Isaiah Rico on the tackle. There is a flag on the field. Offense, number 30. 10 yards from the previous spot. Remains third down. On the reception, number 71, Alessandro Escovedo. There is a flag on the play.
but two light balls on the foul. Illegal touchy. Offense. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. They offset. We replay third down. Have a correction of the penalties. There is no penalty for illegal touching. We have a personal foul. Ruffy the passer. Defense number 93. 15 yards. Automatic first down. JT Santa Maria on the quarterback keeper. He's pushed out of bounds by number 45, Elisier Cardenas. First and goal for the Bobcats. Well, set another ball carrier down inside the five yard line. There's a penalty marker on the field. During the play, holding, offense, number 77. 10 yards for the previous spot, remains first down. JT Santa Maria is tripped by Sam Cerda. A fumble on the play. Looks like a bad exchange. Let's see what the officials rule. It's recovered by the Bobcats. The third down for the Bobcats. 3.31 left to play in the first half. Serna on the jet sweep. Yasmani Rodriguez on the tackle.
Call timeout. Edinburgh North. Their second time at the half. Sitting in Section B here on the home side is the Edinburgh High School and Edinburgh North Class of 1993. Please stand so you can be recognized. Good. Mrs. Melendez, the ball carrier up the middle. He's tripped up close to the 30. There is a flag on the play. Illegal substitution. Offense. Five yards from the previous spot. Stays for Cat, come on. And off to Ulysses Melendez. Defensively, number 99, Juan Davila. Call timeout. Edinburgh High.
And Lindis running the ball to the left side. Timeout, Ball timeout. Enberg, it's the final timeout of the half. Hernandez end over end punt is down close to the 40 yard line because by Keyshawn Garcia. The Bobcats will have possession of the ball with 51 seconds left in the first half. Incomplete pass intended for Rivers Martinez. Noel Serna, the ball carrier is brought down by number 45, Elisier Cardenas. Short gain of one yard, 39 from the 42. Pass is incomplete intended for number 80, Jude Vega. Salvador Suarez defensively for the Cougars. Davila's punt takes a Cougar bounce. It's down by number 64, Jorge Guzman. Pass complete to Jason Rosales. He's pushed out of bounds by number 21, Nicholas Gonzalez.
All time out. Melendez on a long run up the middle. He's down in the 30-yard line after one half a play here at Richard R. Florida Stadium. The Mighty Cougars 14, the Fighting Bobcats 3. Yesterday, we lost a icon legend from Edinburgh, Coach Richard R. Flotis. Richard R. Flores graduated from Edinburgh High School in 1958. He was a two-year letterman in football, a four-year letterman in baseball. He was a starting catcher for the Edinburgh High School by district champions, and they were participants in the 1956 baseball state tournament. Coach Flores was a four-year letterman in baseball as a catcher, and he got his degree in physical education from Pan American University. Richard R. Flores had a 121 wins, 37 losses, three ties coaching record with Rio Ondo, Leifert, and his alma mater, Edinburgh High School. Leading the Bobcats to nine playoff wins and two state quarterfi quarterfinal appearances in the 1980s. If you direct your attention to the center of the football field, we will see Members of his coaching staff, Joe Filoteo, Richard Avila, Romeo Cuellar, Henry Castillo, Joe Vasquez, and Ronnie Guerra. Some of the honors that Coach Flores had throughout the years, he was inducted into the Texas High School Athletic Directors Hall of Honor, Rio Grande Valley Sports Hall of Fame, Texas High School Coaches Association Hall of Honor, or, and he was also instrumental in organizing the Rio Grande Valley Coaches Association. He was athletic director and head coach at Edinburgh High School for many years. He was instrumental in the PE programs as well and he made an impact on students, players, and coaches. At this time, please direct your attention to the video, to the Jumbotron, so you can see some pictures and a video tribute to head coach Richard R. Flores.
Cat Stadium was renamed Richard R. Florida Stadium in March 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, let's go ahead and take a moment in silence in honor of Coach Richard R. Flores. Thank you. Thank you.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We would like to welcome you to another wonderful season featuring our Bobcat Band. Tonight, we will be performing our 2022 program entitled Once Upon a Time in the West, featuring Ecstasy of Gold by Ennio Morricone, Gates of Gold by Joseph Curiel, House of the Rising Animals, Exit Music by a Film by Radiohead, The Entertainer by Scott Joplin, and The Magnificent Seven by Elmer Bernstein. We would like to congratulate the mighty Cougar Band on their Division I at last week's 79th Annual Pigskin Jubilee. And a big congratulations to our EHS Bobcat Band as they earned a Division I. This is their 20th in a row. Best of luck to both groups at tomorrow's Area G Marching Contest. Our section of the week is the drum line. Our rhino of the week is Emiliano Boca Negra, and our rookie of the week is Nathan Tyndall. Our guard members of the week are Gracie Lynn Gomez and Destiny Guerrero. Our drum majors this year are Jasmine Torres, Jesus Flores, and Ricardo Gonzalez. And now, get ready for the best show in Texas on a Friday night. The big, the bad, the red and blue. Ladies and gentlemen, the pride of Edinburgh, our Edinburgh High School Bobcat Band. Take it away, Jasmine. Thank you. 
Bobcat Band is under the direction of Mr. Jason Rogers. Directors are Amanda Enriquez, Jorge Martinez, Ivory Moyeda, Jonathan Padron, and Melanie Perez. Staff includes Kevin High, Eric Martinez, Jillian Ramos, Jorge Ruiz, Margarito Torres, and Karina Lopez. Our principal is Mrs. Claudia Mata. Thank you again for all of your support. And how about that Bobcat Band? And now, entering the field from Edinburgh North. Good evening, and welcome.
welcome to the Annenberg North High School Halftime Show. A little over 1.9 million new cancer cases are expected to be diagnosed in the United States in 2022. Due to this alarming number, tonight the ENHS Golden Spurs will dance to a mix of I Am a Champion and dedicate this halftime show to... And now, entering the field from Edinburgh North High School, the award-winning Mighty Cougar Band. ENHS Band would like to recognize this week's friend of the program honorees, our ECISD bus drivers. Thank you, drivers, for getting us to and from our events safely and in a timely manner. This week's section of the week is our color guard. Freshman of the week, Ray Martinez. Upperclassmen of the week, Evander Ramirez and Cesar Ortez. Guard members of the week are Caleb Arredondo and Melanie Andara. At this time, we'd like to wish both bands the best of luck at tomorrow's UIL area competition. March your hearts out. We know you'll do your best.
tonight we present our 2022 marching show titled Fields of Gold. Under the field direction of senior drum majors, Alexis Quilantan, Daniel Granados, and Diogo Perales. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the 2022 Edinburgh North High School Mighty Cougar Band.
are Mr. Chad Dempsey, Philip Johnson, George Salinas, Mac Guajardo, and Veronica Salinas. The ENHS staff includes Jordi Arevalo, Angel Aldana, Maximus Valdez, Lizette Hernandez, Andrea Davila, Carolina Sanchez, Yulisa Cabello, and Andrea Cantu. We would like to thank the following people for their generosity and support of the Cougar Band. Our principal, Mr. Mark McAuliffe, ECISD School Board, Superintendent, Dr. Mario Salinas, ECISD Director of Fine Arts, Mrs. Nelinda Villarreal, ENHS faculty and staff, Cougar Band boosters, and all the ENHS band parents. Thank you, and go Cougars! Automatic touchback, first and 10 for the Bobcats at the 25 yard line. Ryan Abadigo running up the middle from the quarterback position. Yasmani Rodriguez on the stop. Second and eight from the 27. JT Santa Maria down to the 30 yard line. On the stop, number 28, Andrew Renner. Third and five from the 30. There's a fumble on the play. It's recovered by the Bobcats, Noel Serna. The punt is blocked. It's blocked by number 29, Adolfo Rodriguez. 
Touchdown, Cougars. The block punt by the Cougars results in six points for Edinburgh North High School. The extra point by Ramiro Vargas is good at the hole of Jason Rosales. Deep snapper, 33, Sam Serda. With 9.50 left to play in the third quarter, the Cougars, 21, the Bobcats, 3. Rivers Martinez returning the kickoff. He's brought down by 29, Adolfo Rodriguez. JT Santa Maria on the keeper, coming in on the tackle. Number 43, Aiden Torres. Handoff to Noel Serna. Cougar defensive line on the stop, led by number 42, Angel Rodriguez. Santa Maria's pass to Ethan Calderon is complete. With a reception, first and 10 for the 24. JT Santa Maria, the quarterback keeper. He's brought down by Elisier Cardenas. Passes incomplete intended for Ethan Calderon.
Pass is complete to Ethan Calderon. Calderon brought down by Yasmani Rodriguez. Punt returner, Kishan Garcia, the punter, Juan Davila. Congratulations to Edinburgh North cross country runner, San Juanita Leal. She won the region regional meet in Corpus Christi. She will be advancing to the state track meet in Round Rock November 4th or 5th. And she had a sub 18 minute time. And she, the next competitor that got second place was over a minute behind her. Congratulations to San Juanita Leal, cross country runner at Edinburgh North High School. Melendez up the middle. That's a Bert Ogden Daligas run. He's stopped by number 34, Jonathan Maldonado. Mendez down to the 40-yard line. Edward Zuniga on the tackle, being assisted by number 90, Ryan Garza. Carrier number eight, Chris Barrera. Barrera brought down by number 21, Nicholas Gonzalez, and number five, Humero Cardenas. Complete pass intended for Tyler Reese. Hernandez punt takes a cougar bounce, goes out of bounds. Inside the 20 yard line is being spotted at the 19 where the Bobcats will take over first and 10 with 428 left to play in the third quarter. Today there was a play in volleyball game between Edinburgh North and Edinburgh High. Edinburgh North Lady Cougar volleyball team was victorious three sets to one. 
They will represent District 31 6A as the number two seed. The Lady Bobcat volleyball team will represent as the number three seed. Best of luck to both the Lady Cougars and Lady Bobcat volleyball teams. Santa Maria on the quarterback keeper. Combining on the tackle, Sam Serda and Luri Duarte. JT Santa Maria following his blockers, showing some patience. He's brought down. Close to the 35 yard line. During the play, holding, offense, number 10. 10 yards from the previous spot, replay first down. Second down. Ball being marked at the seven yard line. It'll be third and long for the Bobcats. is nearly intercepted by Keyshawn Garcia, intended receiver number 11, Raul Ramirez. This is Melendez on the carry. There is flags on the play. 
during the play. Holding, offense number 44. 10 yards from previous spot, still first down. Pass complete to number 44, Fabian Benia. Melendez gaining some tough yardage up the middle. He's brought down inside the 30-yard line by Raymond Vasquez. Call timeout, Edinburgh North, first time out of the half. Pass is incomplete intended for Fabian Benia. Defensive coverage by Homero Cardenas. is intended for Jose Ramirez. Been brought to my attention that there is a loss credit card that was found. It has been turned into the North Athletic Office. If you have lost that credit card, please go to North Athletic Office, identify it. Please provide your name. And we will gladly give it to you. 
And also, there was a volleyball playing game between Economides Lady Jags and Mission. And I'm glad to say the Lady Jags won tonight, 3-0. to zero. They're making the playoffs for the first time in 11 years. Congratulations to Coach Soto. So congratulations to Edinburgh North, Edinburgh High, and Economides, all representing District 316A in the volleyball playoffs. Ryan Abrigo on the quarterback keeper. He's brought down by Kishan Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, put four fingers up. It indicates we are ready to enter the fourth quarter of play here at Richard R. Florida Stadium with the Cougars leading the Bobcats 21 to three. What is that also? It also means it's time for the Raising Canes Challenge. This time we want to see which home fans on the Cougar side, Section A, B, C, D, or E, has the most spirit. The Edinburgh North cheerleaders are ready to hand out the certificates for Raising Canes as soon as we determine which section has the most spirit. Cougar fans, show your spirit. Well, Serna up the middle on the carry. Reminder that these Raising Kings box combos can be redeemed at the University Drive location here in Edinburgh or the North 10th Drive in McAllen. They can be redeemed today or tomorrow. They are dated, so make sure that you go to Raising Kings. Section C, Miss Molina. Section C, Miss Acosta, okay, congratulations to Section C. You are the winners of the Raising Canes Box Combo Challenge. Pass is complete to Rivers Martinez. Martinez very close to a first down. Officials are indicating first down Bobcats. Ryan Abrigo running up the middle on that play. Jesus Hernandez defensively for the Cougars. I'm going to go faking to Raul Ramirez, the ball carrier, number 30, Jacob Gonzalez. Third and two for the 47. Ryan Navarro. On that carry, he has enough yardage for a Bobcat first down. They've entered Cougar territory, ball being spotted at the 45. Passes intercepted by number five, Orlando Gonzalez. Edinburgh North fans, let's give the Cougar defense a round of applause. They played an outstanding game tonight, limiting the Bobcats to three points. Reminder, at the conclusion of today's game, we will have the Edinburgh North senior walk.
Ulysses Melendez running the ball for the Cougars. Coming in on the tackle, number 99, Juan Davila. off to number eight Chris Barrera it appears that there's a fumble on the play the fumble is recovered by number 43 Raymond Vasquez During the play, personal foul. Defense, number 35, face mask. 15 yards previous spot. On rack, first down. Pass is incomplete intended for Noel Serna. Santa Maria brought down at the 45 yard line by Isaiah Rico. Santa Maria brought down close to the 45 by number 33, Sam Cerda. Santa Maria's pass to Noel Serna is complete. Serna brought down at the 45 yard line for a Bobcat first down.
Pass is incomplete, nearly intercepted by number five, Orlando Gonzalez. Intended for Raul Ramirez. Applying pressure on the quarterback, Yasmani Rodriguez. Incomplete pass intended for Ryan Abrigo. With that incompletion, it'll be a turnover on downs. First and 10 for the Cougars at the 47-yard line. Reminder, next week in Edinburgh CISD football action, the Bobcats will be hosting the PSA Bears on Thursday, November 3rd. And the Cougars will be playing against the Economides Jaguars on Friday, November 4th. This is Melendez wrapped up by Homero Cardenas. Gain of six yards on the carry, second and four from the 47. There's a fumble on the play. Causing the fumble was Jonathan Maldonado, the fumble recovery by number 43, Ramon Vasquez. With 5.26 left to play in the ball game, it's first and 10 from midfield for the Bobcats. Incomplete pass. Santa Maria on the carry up the middle. Santa Maria brought down by Elisier Cardenas. Third and seven from the 47. Oh. 
Pass intended for Jude Vega. Defensive coverage by number 24, Salvador Suarez. The result of the play with the incomplete pass, ball goes over and down. After the play, unsportsmanlike like Edinburgh, number 10, 15 yards, automatic first down. That's his first unsportsmanlike like of the game. Christian Perez on the reception. On the tackle, number 27, Arturo Avila. Hernandez on the carry. He's tripped up by Jonathan Maldonado. Ball being set at the 30 yard line, third and five for the Cougars. Chris Barrera tripped up by Jordan Ayala. Timeout called. Edinburgh. It's their first time out of the half.
Pass intended for number 83, John Gonzalez. Ryan Abrigo brought down by number 90, Dominic Verial. Ryan Abrigo, close to a possible first down. Brought down by number six, Isaac Vidaudi. Johnny Isla's pass is complete to Raul Ramirez. Defensively, number 24, Salvador Suarez. Call timeout, Edinburgh. Second timeout of the half. Reception by Rivers Martinez. Pass intended for Rivers Martinez. Adolfo Rodriguez on the coverage for the Cougars. Johnny Islas is run out of bounds by the Cougar defense.
Very close to a possible first down. Officials are indicating first down for the Bobcats. During the play, holding, defense number six, 10 yards from the previous spot, automatic first down. Pass completed to Jude Vega. Reminder, we will have the Edinburgh North Senior Walk at the conclusion of the game. Edinburgh North senior students can line up at the Southwest Gate. A reminder, no parents will be allowed on the track area. Edinburgh North administrators will be on the track area to organize the students. We will not start the senior walk until Everything has been cleared on the field at the conclusion of the game. Part of the staff, ball start. Offense number 65, five yard penalty, remains fourth down. Sam Cerda on the quarterback sack of Johnny Islas at the 35-yard line.
The final score here at Richard R. Florida Stadium. The Edinburgh North Cougars, 21. The Edinburgh Bobcats, three. Half of Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Mario Salina. Board of Trustees, Athletic Director, Roy Garza. We'd like to thank you for your attendance at today's game. Thank you for the support throughout the season. We'd like to wish everyone a safe trip home. You enjoyed the game. Have a nice weekend. Reminder, the Edinburgh North Senior Walk will be taking place at the conclusion of the game. We will need to clear all individuals.